that you're in the hallway. You've gotten to oversee this beautiful, uh, you know, little display. <laughs> this uh, this beautiful looking room. I'm gonna refund that because you didn't actually get to bonk. I heard a bonk. And it wasn't you the heard stream. a bonk because I did it. Oh. Yeah, I don't think. I, I believe he stated before you got in the call that he just say, he is supposed, <laughs> supposed he was to trying disable to disable those. all of them so that it didn't distract the stream. Well, no, 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 like that. But I was going to specifically say any, as far as I can tell, any of the uh, soundboard functions we use on Discord will not be audible to stream. Uh, that reminds me, Shooty, since you wanted the rat on my tit, did you get to see the ratty dance? <laughs> ratty dance? I like how they're reacting with the booby jiggle physics. <laughs> <laughs> I get to play with this. Oh, that's a clip. I was doing that for a while. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you, you've just pulled up the bed. You can see Miranda's not there. She's clearly gone. Uh, I'm gonna add a note to that on the note of things in the room looking messy. There's a couple of things under the bed too. You can't really identify them from where they are, but you can see that they're just kind of thrown about but it's just you guys in that room I have no inference on the story at the moment and I was gonna introduce Opti in the morning but I suppose I could introduce them now I'd be fine with that mm, but I feel really... like we should uh, that's that's fine but I feel like we should finish resolving all the characters' initial reactions to the state of the room. Yeah, I agree. You should. If I'm not mistaken, I think I'm in shock, more or less, kind of just staring out the window, trying to figure out how the fuck that they got up here. Trying to look for any kind of evidence of any kind of scratch mark, drag mark, anything that would defer to evidence of somebody taking a pretty portly uh old woman out from a second story building you know yeah like after after assessing what happened the first thing the hawk would do is rush over to the window and immediately look out to try and see anything indicating where they came from or where they went hmm well you look out the window and you do see something uh-huh on the ground, there's some kind of small item laying flat on the pavement. Can't really tell from this height what it is, though. I jump out the window and go in to investigate. <laughs> How high up are we? Second story. Um, do you have a jump? No, but I do have, I think, a grappling hook? I don't think you stated you used it before you jumped. <laughs> I'm going, um, I'm going to prepare something. I have a lot of rope, and I have a dagger. I'm going to tie uh, all right, rope around uh, the dagger, stab into the windowsill, jump out, and just fucking go down. Oh. You sure? It's only 2d6. <laughs> it's only 2d6 falling damage. The oh, only family right. I have left has been taken from me. I don't care. Uh... <clears throat> Okay, so you meant don't... to ask. Hmm? Meant to ask sooner. What would make more sense for uh, a cleric of Tia to have a prayer book or a prayer wheel? Mm. Like technically I neither. I was but to... if you're going to do one, I do a book. Okay. And so you 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 go out the window. Using your rope to not take a few points of fall damage. Which, just so you know, I rolled two total damage, so... Great avoidance. Uh, you get I down mean, there, it, and it, 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 it appears to be some kind of rubber mask. A rubber mask. Yep. 
It looks like a giant angry rat face with sharp giant teeth. I look inside the mask. It's made of rubber. Yep. It's sweaty. The inside is just a blank and like it looks like a plain piece of plastic on the inside. Rubber. You now like it's well, not painted. Upon uh her finding well, upon her finding that and going out the window, before he does, he does, uh, the hawk does, like, look around. So... 20. Yeah, 20 we're... perceptify at, I guess, clues. I, I don't I don't know how to succinctly put it. You would have just oh, wait, no, 19, saw the mask 19. that she picked up in an empty alleyway. You can see foot traffic in the street, but I mean, it just looks like the end of day traffic that you normally witness. No, no, that is not a toy. Mm. Yeah, that tracks. How about you, Merrick? Is there anything you do in this small room? I mean, since I don't see anything hinting at how they got here or where they went i go down to also investigate using the rope she used well you said there you said there was stuff under the bed we couldn't quite make out so I, I, I'll, I'll like get on all fours and kind of put peek on peek under the bed ah all right you get down on all fours and you peek under the bed and you see about 13 dead rats huh each one's got his belly right. lovingly cut open, and the guts are just stretched across the floor. God damn. I was right. They were markers. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Possible. Well, I, um, uh, I, and as you're getting up, I, I, I immediately, I immediately sc like scramble backwards, trying not to throw up. <laughs> as you do that, Tog's just lowering himself at the window. I mean, he's pretty distracted, what? but that is quite the reaction, so I suppose <laughs> he would pause. Was there something under the bed? Well, I think I know. Well, I think. All right. Well, I think I I know what they used to write write the their message. I, I like. Th 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 there's quite a number of dead rats on under the bed. Those are markers. <laughs> the hawk frowns at that. Hmm. I had assumed it was Miranda's blood. Questions for later. Proceeds down the rope. Alright. You make your way down to the alleyway aside. Miss May. Character name As I get her. back up. As I get back up holding the mask aloft, seeing the hawk kind of come down behind me. I hand him the mask and ask him what he makes of it. It's the only thing left behind from the people that took her. I'm sorry, what was the exact phrasing? I missed it. What do you make of this? I hand you the mask. Uh, he looks it over. Does the mask look familiar to him at all? As I said, that image is permanently burned in your brain. And yes, it does look like that. Look like what? <laughs> the rats. <laughs> the rat people that stabbed him in the wine cellar. Does it look like... So, since that confirms my suspicion, does it look exactly like the face that was lit up or does it look like a facsimile of that history check i'm not sure why that's history but okay Sixteen. you're pretty confident it looks just like this it's hard to make out like the smallest of small details in a flash, but right. it, it looks pretty similar. Okay. 
I, I would say with a history check that high, the only thing you're not sure of is how they would have gotten the eyes of a rubber mask to glow in the dark. Mm-hmm. What? I, I wanted to ask, what were the lenses in this mask made out of? Rubber. So it's all, it's an entire... The, it's, it's like it's, a rubber it's, it's pullover like... mask, like the horse. I was gonna say, was it like a more... Uh, a mortis mask? No. Usually those are made of stone. Anyway, um Well it certainly looks like either someone is pulling off an incredibly sadistic prank and they aren't rat people or Someone knows exactly what these rat folk look like and modeled a mask after them. I'm not sure how their eyes would have been glowing, though. The mask is, like, he, just to verify, does, like, try to poke his... Like, not, not to, like, harm any lens that might be in there, but he does verify by trying to, like, poke his finger through one of the eye holes. After, after I, like, collect myself, I, I, like, poke my head out the window and call down to May. It's not, Mor it's not Miranda's blood. It's rat blood. The hawk nods. And cross my arms. Well, that's certainly unsanitary. I guess I'm not going to be using those sheets tonight. Do you ever use the sheets anyway? No. I usually <laughs> kind of just brew to the window. Aw, Queek wants to be on camera. Yay! <laughs> Hi, Warhammer Rat. What are you doing? Mm. A rat doll. <laughs> Rat, 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 rat. Anyway. Weak. Anyway, yes. So you found a mask. The blood's not Miranda's. But you have no idea how they cleanly got her out of the window still. I would have liked to have rolled an investigation or a nature check. Mm, for what? to see any kind of blemishes on the cobbling on the wall or the windowsill, any kind of scratches or anything. Investigation. I'm going to say plus three because you have a nature background and you know you're looking for an animal track. At least based um, on initial assumption. 24. Oh, wow. You don't see anything on this wall. running my hand across this brick wall noticing that it's still as pristine as it was just dumbfounded as I'm looking up towards the second story and then looking around you don't even see nope. an easy way up onto the top of the building I'm gonna uh, go over to the hawk and kind of like reach for the mask. Uh, he hands it back over. He done investigating it. Oh, right. There wasn't an answer. His eye, his finger, like there's nothing in the eye socket. He pokes just right through. Yes. I mean, you do poke your finger right through. There's like a slit in the eye. Yeah. Just verifying. So, yeah, he hands it over. Take it, look at it one more time, front, back, and then I pocket it in my side satchel pouch and suggest that we probably should get back into the room. Um. He nods. Uh... Wild Thrull 
actually, do you suppose you'd be able to track anything from here? I know the wilds are more your specialty. Urban environment isn't you, you know, quite my specialty, but I am able to track pretty well, so long as I'm given enough time to concentrate on a specific creature. Um, this is very peculiar because th th these things. They're animalistic in nature, but they act like a humanoid-like entity. Well... Oh, sorry. That sounds like a dog. Oh. Mark, Mark. Yeah, like, I've heard that before, right? I, but I've heard birds making similar noises before so i thought it was like yeah i thought it was a bird yeah no i thought i thought it was like a chicken or something from lil's end that's the sound a hedgehog makes no that's my dog mm. called it yes anyway um the timing on that suspense though like holy shit yeah. Tell me that was immaculate. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, li like I was saying, um, I can try to concentrate on an hour to figure out what other collections of, like, creatures I can find within the vicinity of the city. Uh, just by, like, um, absorbing like the vibe kind of thing you know kind of going around looking at the tracks uh believings of creatures i can probably see uh by the morning i can give you a kind of an idea of what's around the city as far as wildlife goes um yeah, we, um, should probably get back into the rooms. Right. He sighs and nods. Unfortunate. I no longer takes the deader the tracks are, for lack of a better, uh, words. Starts climbing back up the rope. All right. Uh, Zephyr, while they were having this discussion in the street, what were you doing? Um... Uh, I was... I was getting, like, taking, taking those sheets off, off of that, off of that bed, and I guess piling, piling them in the corner or something. You could wrap up all those dead rats in them. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I think you all agreed to sleep in May's room. But not that that's still the plan. Right. right, I'll. I'll you... Like, uh, unless any of our rooms don't have a window, that's still going to be the plan. All right, I'd, I'd be in favor of right. sleeping in the middle room with the, like, the mock fireplace. Zephyr. Right, well, I'll, st I'll, st I'll, still clean I'll still clean up the dead rats and use those sheets as, like, a... a trash bag. Trash bag. All right. Take a moment to pick up the rats. How are you guys coming back in the room? You're walking around or are you going back up the rope? <laughs> I already said I was going back up the rope. Yeah. Both of you. I'm actually going to linger in the alleyway and start trying to concentrate on that wildlife sense. 
looking at any kind of evidence or track or dropping as long as I'm able to concentrate on on these little details you know for the period of like an hour I'm able to tell like how many groups of species there are in the vicinity um and where they're kind of generally located okay how long does this take an hour concentration i mean and it... I'm, th I'm thinking that concentration is just me kind of like going around sizing the area looking for tracks and stuff right all right now give me an investigation for the tracks however if you're doing this to locate the rats no not the rats so you already know where the rats it's... are it's it's more or less any kind of game in the city mouse pigeon bird what's it called the build uh i think it's in the natural explorer uh, let me read it real quick Is that a ranger thingy yeah yeah it's, it's a ranger thing oh yeah natural explorer yeah i see that There was also something that I read about it. I think it might be the subclass that I am. The Beastmaster. Mm -hmm. It should be something. on your character sheet. I copied them in full detail. I know, I'm reading it. Um... Yeah, so investigation. That is a 13. You don't manage to find any tracks outside of normal foot tracks, the occasional regular rat, and as far as dropping goes, regular rat droppings. There doesn't seem to be a lot of critters in this town. But what critters there are, I'm able to, you know, kind of gauge where they're kind of collected, right? Yeah, over time. Like, you can tell at this time of the day, you know, birds are starting to nestle in on roof chimneys. <clears throat> Cats and dogs are either at home or getting ready to run out into the alleys for the night. Though, being said, you know that the town does not have a lot of animals. Mm. And the ones that there are have been declining in population recently. Very peculiar. Tog, you make your way back up into the window. And you just see Merrick uh, wrapping up those rats. Yeah, I figured it would take me significantly less time to do that, so... Um... I'd start helping him with that, I guess. Alright. You guys collect the 13 rats. Do you investigate those rats at all, or just chuck them into the thing as quick as possible? Uh, the hawk would definitely look into them more than... Just chucking them into the trash receptacle we're using. Alright, any specific way, much like when I asked you about the hair? Is there any way you want to go into looking at them, or just what you can see visually? Uh, well, he 
turn them over, but he'd mostly be looking for signs of if these were normal rats or what. They are all normal rats. Uh, the shared feature among all of them is that there is a line through their gut, or the gut spilled out, clean cut. So obviously with some kind of dagger or knife. Outside that though, the, the, none of them seem to be like coated in blood. It looks like they were all dead when they were put there. Uh huh. Well, it sounds yeah, like you yeah, guys not, could use really else. just a second. Opti. <clears throat> You're currently on your way back into town from a four-day hunting trip. You were asked to deal with a local bear that's been an issue pushing his territory out into the farmer's farmland. Sounds about right. You've just gotten back out of, like, the guild, or the guard post in the outskirts of town, turning in the bear and the pelt, collecting your 20 gold bounty on it. Oh, I should add that to my sheet. And you're on your way back to the guild hall for a night of rest. <laughs> After several days out and about in the field. Coming back into town, you know, the, the rat population has exploded in your absence. You see rats on every street corner. A real ratsville up in here. It is, kind of. Uh, merchants are currently in the process of picking up, so if you needed anything, you might be able to grab something before you make it back, but that's up to you. Yeah. I think she's probably just going to go back to, I'm assuming that the guild place that's there, everyone's saying that has, like, food. Yeah. yeah uh, the housing food and food there crouch. is free not, not for... Crouch, crash. Yeah. The food and housing at the guild is free for you guys. On the note because that they based help... Off commission. Yep, and they give you your jobs and whatnot, so that you can earn a living. Yeah, she's gonna head straight back to get to a bed and like a big, big leg of meat. If they have that, it's like a monster hunter meal. <laughs> All right, you make your way into the door. Uh, you're greeted with a couple of sights right off the bat. First, uh, Leah, the guild marm of the guild, and her husband are currently arguing in front of the cellar door. It's very loud. In fact, the people upstairs can now start to hear it. And the patrons are being incredibly quiet or awkwardly leaving as you come in. As they're shouting about why they have the wine cellar barred up over some stupid myth. She's just going to blink at this and just shrug. She doesn't care enough right now. She just wants to get something to eat and go to bed. Yeah. So you make your way over to like the little counter area for the kitchen. They've got a. Uh, where is this sheet? Let me find it. I make sure I got the right one because I wrote this one specifically. Apta. All right. So behind the counter, we've got a. Sorry, she tonight is a blonde, you know, white skinned human. She's taking orders. Uh, and the notable thing about her is she's blind and she wears a bandana. She stares at you directly as you approach and she asks how she can help you today. I want something to eat that's meat. Hmm, what kind of meat we've got? Pork and beef and high bulk today. There's also venison. Uh, we had a special income the other day for uh, elk. 
if it's more your fancy, but outside pork. that. Pork? Actually, no, beef. Beef? Beef. All right. Uh, anything to go along with it? And would you like it brought up to your room? She just kind of motions over your shoulder at everyone shouting. Yeah, I would like that. And <laughs> nah, just, just, mm -hmm. nah, just the meat. Just the meat? Yep. Uh, she gives you a nod and she tells you it'll be brought up shortly. Sweet. She got a hat on upstairs then. I like how she just walks in to a couple arguing. She goes really to the counter. Him. Goes to the counter and says, Where's the beef? Where's the beef? <laughs> oh I am too oh I am too hungry for this shit. Oh yeah, the beef's behind is. you, dear. <laughs> Arby's, we got the meat. <laughs> You make your way upstairs to uh, your guys' little dormitory. The four of you share uh, a common space, and then there's four rooms attached to it, much like a college setup. The rooms are a bit bigger than a college room, thankfully. But as you go up there, you know, first you see there's a cooked rat half-chewed in front of the fireplace in the middle of the common area. And then to your left, there is a giant weasel sitting aside a door and a cot half pulled into May's room and you can hear two people in her room that aren't her you know talking about the stuff that's on the floor <laughs> what the hell is going on here is the cot trying to go into that room or come out of that room it looks like it's going into that room you know what yeah, I I don't want to push it further in the middle in. of putting it in. Cause it's out, she's, just because she sees it in the way, she's going to push it further into the room. All right. You, you go up to it and start pushing it in. You can see right. that uh, Zephyr and Daka are currently picking what looks like dissected rodents off the floor. And someone's written across <laughs> Miss May's bed in blood, and it says coward. You keep doing that, man. <laughs> What, Daka? Yeah. Yeah, I got that uh -huh. too. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> sorry. It's because of this one character that we grew fond of. I, I am aware of why. Character. I'm gonna keep pointing it out until you, everybody gets it right, though. Uh, the the hawk, hawk, yeah. Speaking of, how do we pronounce your character's name? I'm familiar with her. I've never heard you say it. Jay Lynn. That's how I pronounce it. Okay. And last name? Vey Rose. Okay. I thought it was Warhammer. <laughs> tog, tog is the tog. Uh, tog is just tog. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna bully him. So uh, you, you start pushing the bed further in when you're greeted with that sight. Why are there dead rats in here? Oh, Jalen, it, it's uh, you've mi you've missed a bit. Yeah, I I've noticed. I'm not surprised. Also by the well, okay. I guess I shouldn't ask since that's all the rats in town, which is really weird. But didn't think they'd be inside the buildings. At this moment, I'm guessing I'm kind of like on my way back up the rope. Yep. So you're asking about the rat, and here comes May pulling herself up the windowsill. <laughs> Hello. This is quite the sight. <laughs> Yes, this drow hood over her head, just burglaring into her own room. Sees a new person in their room and is like, oh, hi. Not a new person. A new, they're, from the th three that sh were in there, she is new. Yeah. Like, recently, just into the room. Not that she's, you know, oh, okay. someone okay. that May hasn't met before. Yeah, just new to the room, and all of a sudden, poof, person. Yeah, I gotcha. She left, uh, and there were two people. Now there are three people. So at, after climbing through the windowsill, I close the window and do probably the smartest thing anybody in this town has ever done. I lock the window. Should have done that beforehand. Does, does the hawk yeah. actually have like a visible stab mark, stab wound on him, or? Um, probably uh, not at this point. I'm only down one hit point. Fair. I believe what? he immediately healed himself, so the only thing was probably a hole in his pant leg. 
Yeah. Yeah, like there would be a hole in my side, in the side of my clothes. Yeah. All right. Well, she's not gonna question anything like, about that then. Like not even any bandage. It would just be a small little tatter on the hem of his pant. Yeah, he's a cleric. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I would expect. Uh, hello. Uh, what's with the? She just stare at the message written in blood. Unless it's been wiped up already. No. Actually, wasn't the sheet that had coward written on it? The yes, thing you took the sheet off. Yeah. Doesn't mean it's not on the mattress. Yeah, it's okay. oh, it's it, it through, led yeah. through into the mat. It's like yeah. a marker. Alright, just verify. Don't you just hate it when your markers bleed? Yep. <laughs> I mean, isn't that the point of these markers? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> God damn it! I didn't even think of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm God like, God. God. fucking hell. Um, anyway, um, right. Uh, it is a long story. The summation of which being there are evidently rat people, in addition to the rat plague we are presently dealing with. He would have put air quotes around Rat Plague. And they kidnapped Miranda. As I take my dagger out of the windowsill and uncoil the rope around the handle, I say Plague is putting it lightly. Yeah, so given all the rats I saw on my way back, that's... yeah. This has only been a thing that has been happening the last couple of days, too. Like, I, guess the, the I thought it was more like the last week. The the outrageous number of rats increasing in the last 24 hours at least is baffling. It's either there's a huge colony in the sewer somewhere or they migrated from somewhere else. Do we need to go deal with them or no, we are rescue um Miranda first sounds like we we need to report a missing persons first. Um, if the guards do anything, and it sound, and I, and I can and I can hear that and I can hear that shouting match from up here. Yeah, I didn't want to deal sounding, with that. I just, went, I just came back upstairs because I was done. It's sound. <laughs> it, it's it, it's sounding more and more like we'll have to leave in the morning for that prisoner escort. Do we even want to leave? Like, to me, finding Miranda is my priority because she's my family. I no longer care about the prisoner. I would rather we not deal with it, but Giodern was very adamant about that, so I don't know. You might not be able to back out since we've accepted it. Hmm. <sighs> I kind of run my thumb against the rubber of the mask, trying to dig my th nail into it idly, not even realizing. Just really oh. want to stab a rat? Uh, okay, so <laughs> why is the cellar blocked off, by the way? The hawk would... Uh, yelling in front of it. The, the hawk would probably tell you. He's He's the reason why it's like that. Oh, is there something down there? He grimly chuckles about that. Well, the reason we know rat people abducted her rather than rats, which evidently eviscerated some other rats who write us a message, is because when I went down to check on what I heard in there, I was attacked by a group of rat people. Oh. Huh, that's... And... How many? Are they... They're, I'm assuming they're not down there anymore, that's why you guys are... have it blocked off just in case. Uh, it's barred, barricaded, and booby-trapped. As soon as others showed up, they ran away like the cowards they were. And 
I cross my arms across my chest and kind of gesture towards the bed, saying, and I'm guessing they didn't take that kindly. No. No, they clearly did not. Though I'm not sure how they knew... Well, Miranda did taste the poison. Air quotes again. And they're very clearly linked to that. So maybe that's how they knew she was up here. And they're also probably watching us still right now. It seems they can come and go as they please as... They left, however the rats in the wine cellar got in there. There's only one entrance or exit for people. They didn't use that, since none of the rest of us have seen them. Something suddenly t clicks in my head and I look towards the ceiling. Oh, what did you expect to see on the ceiling? Some kind of skylight, some kind of hole, something. Oh. Well, for, you know, reference, the, the ceiling is 10 feet above your head. Pretty high vaulted ceilings for a second story room. And Miranda's on it. Excuse? Pinned what? to it. What? Miranda's up there. Nope. What? Like, how how is she pinned? Is she pinned by her clothes or is she pinned by her person? By her person. About 14 oh. daggers through her body. Oh. Yeah, I feel like you should add details like that oh, like something initially. Else. It would have been out of our sight. We wouldn't have noticed unless we looked up. I was going to oh, wait no, for no, you guys no, to no, go to no. sleep. No, no, no. no I was, go I was I mean. going by the fact <laughs> that... The first time that we actually saw one of these rats in the cities was they were in the rafters, so I'm like, what if they got in through the roof? And so I look up. Yeah, but yeah, no, no, I'm not- see Miranda? Faulting, Holy shit. I'm not faulting him for not telling us Miranda was pinned to the ceiling until we looked up. I am faulting him to, for not saying Miranda is peeled- is pinned to the ceiling by daggers. She wouldn't have been able to scream. She's right. dead. Yes. This is what I'm guessing. Well, I mean, she's My not question bleeding, is, why so. didn't we notice the dripping blood? Like, I think Todd is trying to... She's elude. not bleeding. She's not bleeding? Nope. They probably drained her like they drained the rat. Oh, right. Yeah, that, that would be a detail he shared with Zephyr that the rats were evidently drained before the gutting. That's fucked up. Sorry, Opti. It was kind of a short-handed warning that the campaign wasn't very light-hearted. No, no, I know. It's no, I'd still say that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, like the. I mean, it's it's Warhammer. Oh, yeah. This is what you come to expect for Warhammer, anyway. Uh, I imagine she I points don't... that out immediately. I don't think May is the screaming type, but my face kind of just goes hollow. Pupils literally, like, reverse dilate was, was that sharpen. And my dagger falls from my hand and hits the floor. Oh, hey guys, like, I brought you your dinner. Leah just comes up and interrupts. <laughs> I mean, he, at, at, he, his attention Dahakwa definitely noticed the dagger noticed her expression and then look where she's looking oh the jailer well, with all the same look I I, I guess she I wasn't was... kidnapped what do you would mean I look I look up don't look up I think I'm going to take a d12 of emotional damage now <laughs> oh, here, I'll roll it for you. It's, it's like 27. 27. 27? <laughs> you gotta remember the fuck. modify? Jesus. Wait, did I miss... You know what, fair. Did I miss their beat? No, they're, they're making a joke about emotional damage. Yeah, I, I know. I know they're making a joke about emotional damage. I was more just curious why the fuck it was 27. Oh, oh. yeah, that part I don't get. He rolled 12. 
uh, maximum, and then there's 15 daggers in her. Um, for every single dagger? Jesus okay. Christ. Anyway, uh, oh, right, yeah, no, definitely upon Zephyr speaking up, he, Dahak immediately says not to look at the ceiling. What's on the ceiling? Leah just looks up. I'm gonna set down the food, and I'm going downstairs. I don't have the mental fortitude to deal with this today. <laughs> you, you don't. Uh, that, that Dahak gets up and steps outside. You, you can just... Jaylen, well, you... well, no, steps outside with her. Jalen said you were having a fight with your husband? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. He D- D- doesn't want the cellar locked. He wanted his wine. Uh... The joys of dwarves. Meanwhile, m- my heart is literally wrenching in my chest as I'm just standing stunned, staring up at my, like, closest thing to a second mother that I've probably had in the city. The only other person that I, kn- like, that was ever kind to me. The only person, like, Outside of like guild members that have been, you know, cordial and like at least any kind of relation is just up there butchered and fucking stapled to the ceiling. Well, hey, I got some good news for you guys. I had a moment to talk with the town commission today. She hands you a letter from them. They told, they said based on your worry and concern, they are withdrawing the quest for ore. Being said, now they're sending you to get rat poison because they don't have a good enough supply in the town, apparently. I suppose I would be more interested in that. But considering everyone thought the ore was rat poison, I think they're just changing the language. She shrugs. Well, there's no warning label on it this time, so... I quietly walk over to Leia and the Hawk. I reach over with a shaken hand and just grab the paper, crinkling it in my palm. Just one hand, crinkle it. Walk towards the fire in the the fireplace and just throw it into it. (laughs) Oh. <laughs> he shrugs at that and goes back to asking, like, uh, uh, I would say that adamantly, or not adamantly, adequately summarizes our opinion on that particular. More importantly, though, what's, I, I assume, the verdict on uh, escorting the prisoners that we still have to do that? I mean, technically, yes. That's why I said you could just do that one, too. It's there. It is for rat poison, though. It's not for the ore. He nods. In fact, the reason that they changed it is because the guards made a discovery that the rat poison that we have in town is not rat poison. Well, at least they put two and two together. Good for them. Why am I not surprised? I mean, it. I mean, to be fair, it did my... look. It did look like the rat poison we normally use. <laughs> I, th- I think my face just turns into a caricature of a darkest dungeon character. <laughs> Why is it my brain went to Nicolas Cage? Like, you don't say! This <laughs> is true. This is a close second, but uh, honestly... You said oh, that, man. and the immediate face that I thought of from Darkest Dungeon was the dog. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What, the Hound Masters? Yeah. No, 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 not the, the master himself, just the dog. Just Isn't the dog the sad sitting. pooper. Hmm... <laughs> 
Oi. <laughs> so yeah, if if you guys still want to do that, let me know. Otherwise, we'll find somebody else to do it in the morning. Just to get the guild master to be quiet for the night. I, I think we need to deal with something else at this moment. I, I have oh, a feeling. Definitely do. Uh, that reminds me, I should remind you of your room policy. I walk over the tarragon and just he, go on my knees and hug him. He raises a brow at that because he does not remember what she's talking about. That's your problem. He nods. Upon hearing her say that so coldly, I think I just stare daggers at her. Because I only Ooh. have a six foot ladder and I'm a gnome. I suggest you leave. Yeah. I, I, I curse her in Elvish. Not in any kind of other, like, common Elvish, like, underdark Elvish. Oh. She gives a bow and she leaves. Jahawk, help me find a ladder. Uh, <laughs> certainly. But before we start dealing with that um maybe turns to may maybe you should leave the room i am where tarragon was kind of just sitting on the floor trying to bury my face in his fluff oh uh upon seeing that Dahak walks over and tries to gently uh, pick the both of you up and carry you off to, I guess... I, his first thought would be his room, but well, then he'd remember his room later. would no longer have a cot. <laughs> and then he'd just be sort of paused oh. in the hallway, being like, where... Where's a comfy place to put these two? Because he's not sure anymore. I mean, a bright side, at least your dinner's upstairs now. Help yourselves. I'm sure you're starving. I mean, since he can't think of a better spot, unless uh, Jalen suggests her own room, he continues. We, it sounds like we share a room. room. Uh, no, we share a central room <laughs> that's connected to a Oh, room. okay, my, my apologies then, I miss... Yeah, yeah, like, everybody has their own room. We were all going to bunk in May's room because that's where Miranda was going to be. I mean, you could use my room if you want to. Oh. Technically, she's still there. Yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Jalen. Uh, he proceeds to... Jalen's room, unless... I, I mean, I imagine she's more or less catatonic at this point, so I'm guessing May doesn't really object to any of the stuff going on here. Yeah, no? More or less, I'm just going to be... sobbing into my companion's fluff. At, at that, he does, like, pat the back of... May's head as he carries them both off to Galen's room before going back to May's room and beginning to get Miranda down from the ceiling. Yeah, during this, Jalen would have probably been going, probably maybe with Zephyr, to try to grab that ladder that was mentioned, the six foot one. All right, it, it's downstairs in the little cleaning closet on the end of the first flight. I highly doubt I have anything relevant prepared. No, Do I have probably spell not. relevant to this prepared? I don't think so. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I, I think I might have no. scarred everybody too much. Should I? Should I tone it back a little bit? Because it got worse. You haven't. <laughs> no, it's scarred. perfect. No, no, <laughs> this, this is great. Yeah, no, this I'm is not fine. Scarred. I'm having fun. Okay, this is, yeah, you have this is fine. Just make you haven't. Sure. <laughs> All right, everybody's trying to talk at once, so... You haven't scarred any of the players. 
You have scarred the characters. That okay. is the point. You have done a good job. Yeah. <laughs> I dropped out of college for this. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't go to college. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <sighs> so, yeah, Jalen, you grab the ladder. You find it tucked in there. Uh, if you need any other cleaning supplies, you can also find them right here. Dust rags, uh, bleach, dish. Zephyr, you grab the Zephyr, you grab the cleaning stuff. I'll just carry the ladder upstairs. I'm just because she's gonna drag him along with I, her. I grab what I, I mean. I grab what whatever cleaning stuff we need. All right. Oh. Let us say you grab the general cleaning supplies. Yeah. Make your way back up to the room. Uh, yeah, now how do you go about bringing down the old lady? Uh, hmm. I mean, because you said tw six, said ten feet up. Ten feet up, fifteen daggers. Like ten feet up isn't that high. No, like... and we and we have a six foot ladder. So and and Jalen is like six. Uh, I think I put her a six five here. Yeah. I mean, the two of us, like, failing anything that one of us could stand on the other's shoulders, and then we might be able to reach it. I don't know. Could do that, actually. Fuck it, yeah, let's do that. I think that's more fun than the ladder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you, which one's on top? Go on, Dahak. Oh, hey. So, the uh, Dahak on bottom, Jalen on top. Just, or was it the other way around? Well, it was the other way around. I, yeah. It, it cut for a second, so I didn't hear it. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. Okay. Jalen's the base. Nice. <laughs> you're hoist. You're hoisted on up. You can easily reach the daggers. And now that you're this close to the body, you can't help but notice that they're vibrating a little bit. He sighs, uh, pulls out one of the daggers, and then uses it to pry open the corpse's mouth. Oh. <laughs> well, one second. Let me just roll a d4 here. As you open the mouth, three rats come out. Uh, oh, God. And do those appear to be normal rats? Yep. They fall to the floor, dropping by Jalen's face, and then they scurry off down the hall. What? Is what? Zephyr in the room? Uh, y y yes, and I kind of, kind of like, back up, back up. Back away, out of out of like reflex, like cursing. Catch those! <laughs> right, I go. Uh, I get draw my crossbow and like aim shoot shoot the shoot the the, the closest one. Roll the hit. Where the uh, hell did those come from? Or do I not want to know? Honestly, at this point, I'm not sure. D20, D20, yep. right? 20 plus your dex, and plus proficiency. Yep. Oh yeah, Opti, while I'm thinking about it, there are, uh, in the Discord, I don't know if you saw them in important info, there's some house rules. I need to take a look at them again. I did I did see that that was there. All right. Info. Oh, you, you, you clipped the boob rats. Uh, uh, 12 <laughs> with my profi- uh, 12 with my proficiency. You hit. It dies. I'm not making roll damage. You didn't, I'm disappointed you didn't notice the boob rats sooner. Uh, the one rat causes the other ones to scamper back into the room and they hide underneath the cot. There might be more uh, 
Escapees, please close the door. We probably I should close that. that to begin with, honestly. I do that. With the three rats out of the mouth, is the corpse still twitching or otherwise moving? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, outside of mutilating the corpse, I don't really see a good way to check on this. I'm just happy she's not actually... Hmm. Wait a moment. Uh, would it be an investigate or a knowledge... Or not knowledge, hold on, they, they call it, they, yeah, they just call it, would it be an investigate or a religion role to try and figure out if she's undead? Religion, for the setting at least. He doesn't know, I rolled one, so that's a four total. Nope. And she don't look undead. Hmm. Well, the last corpse we dealt with that had close contact to these rats was turning into some sort of horrible undead rat monster. It doesn't seem like she is. So I'm guessing the rest of the movement is just more rats that somehow got into her body. Not that's much better, to be honest. That's fucked up. He nods and proceeds to methodically pull out more daggers so that they can get her off of the ceiling. Um, may I roll a charisma saving throw to kind of get myself out of this funk? Sure. Because I might have an idea of how to safely, uh... What is it called? Uh... No. Do something with Miranda's remains. I regret writing this scene. <laughs> um, charisma saving throw that is, uh, sixteen. Yeah, you, you pull yourself together. You know, Miranda wouldn't want you sitting here, being sad over her dad. Her life was basically over anyway. You, you guys broke her back earlier. So I, I mean, that's the thought that I would be thinking of. I'm not good at those speeches, man. She wouldn't want you sitting. <laughs> the point is, she definitely wouldn't want you to be sad over this. She's gone, and she wants you to remember the good times, not how she went out. And the idea of that's the last way that I see her is not what I want. So I'm going to take a soft breath. I'll hold the brooch that's around my neck, being reminded of my mother's affinity with nature, and begin going to the room that Miranda and the rest of the guys are in. All right. You make your way over to the door. Zephyr's standing there, and he's got the door nice and tight shut. I, I knock on it and ask him if I can come in. I don't uh, think it's I, a good I, idea. Yeah, there uh it sounds like there's rats coming out of her. She tilts her head, closes her eyes, and just breathes in to regain her stoicness and says Uh Would you please allow me to come inside? The Hawk shrugs and continues. Her. Yeah, the Hawk shrugs and continues pulling daggers out. He said what he thought. It's up to her what she does after the input. All right. So may I make your way. You make your way inside. Zephyr opening the door for you as the Hawk pulls the seventh dagger out of the fifteen. And the weight that's in the body begins to make the daggers slide a little bit, and she oh, seems no. to almost be weighing them down now. There's a large amount of scurrying all of a sudden. 
Like it almost mm. sounds like a tree branch scraping across the roof. I'm beginning to think that they might have blocked off the initial entry with her body? What the fuck is going on? Like, he, he says that, pausing, and then continuing to try and pull out some more daggers, like, with the idea, like, like, he knew that as he pulled out more daggers, there would be less of the body's weight covered by them. It's more just the unexpected rat reaction that's throwing him off. As you pull out the next dagger, the body loses its stability and drops. As it slaps against the floor, about 30 more rats crawl out of a it. hole on her back. I wouldn't allow it to just slap against the ground. I would have caught her. All right, yeah, also, that doesn't soon, kill rats. As like, soon he, as I make contact with it, I cast Decompose. Oh. Remind me how that works again? Um, It is a necromancy cantrip clerical spell that I have on my character sheet. Uh, range touch. You reach out and touch a corpse or of a creature, and I'm gonna say, she, technically, human is a creature. Yeah. Yeah. Well, over the next minute, the corpse begins to rapidly decompose, sprouting fungus and moss as it begins to degrade into compost and mulch. An odd colored flower or two may also spring from the corpse in this time. Uh, applicable requirements for resurrection are unaffected by this decomposition. Okay, so you cast decompose, you catch her, her body immediately turns into a fungus and begins to break down as it goes over your hands. The instant decomposition kind of breaking it down as it thunks. So you can still catch it if you want. That does not change the fact that about 30 rats come flying out of this mess. And then a few Excellent. more drop through a tiny rat-sized hole in the ceiling. I close right, my eyes nice. and just so nice. embrace Miranda's corpse in my arms. Letting the uh, flow of nature pass through her, giving a reasonable kind of funeral procession of her being, you know, an herbalist. I think it would be better for her to become a terrarium for fungi, plants, flowers, than to just be the victim of some unfortunate murder. She also sprouts a single set of flowers. Aw. White Aww. buttercups. Cute. Aww. And the rats go flying across the room trying to find a way out. Because I'm pretty sure Zephyr shut the door again. I would hope it's Zephyr. Smart, but I would assume he did shut it after she got in. I did. I I did shut it. So yeah, now there's about you know thirty five or so rats on the floor. In this twenty by twenty room. <laughs> yeah, I think this place has a rat problem. No, this is definitely a plague. A a. Tide of a vermin variety, one would say. Hmm. Don't you be mm. making Warhammer references. <laughs> God damn it. I get it. No. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so, yeah, it, enjoy the rats and the, the nice little bit of decomposed. Now there's just a few daggers in the ceiling. Oh, and a few on the floor. And a hole in the ceiling, too. It sounds like there's a small hole. Yeah. No, no, it's like, a no, size no. hole, in fact. Yep. Oh, God. Dang it, this is annoying. Where? There. there Being said, rats. for a fact, there is not an attic space. So, the hole to the sky. Yep. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. The hole I'm seeing, does the hole lead to outside or just like the 
space between the roof and the ceiling of this room. It goes outside. Okay. Looking out Are the window, able... you can see rats falling by the window. Wait, there are rats falling by the window. Is it raining the rats? No, nah, but the sudden, like, you know, movement of the thing that we're trying to get into caused them all to scatter. Hmm. And it's just a little bit of extra detail. I'll I'll state that all the rats seem kind of thin. Well, like they haven't eaten. I mean, yeah, like they went into the corpse. They weren't generated by the corpse, as I was beginning to ponder if what was happening. Uh, they were hungry. And I take it if we don't, t if we take too long to react, they're probably going to be less hungry as time passes because they'll be starting to eat us our dinner is in the room sadly it's probably being attacked by rats yeah probably it's, prob it's probably already gone yeah that's like i mean by this point like that would almost certainly be the first thing that they go for yeah anyway um... I, my dinner isn't what i'm the most interested in so i upon seeing the rats falling past the window i do look closer at the rat hole to assess the whole question i was asking about before and try and get an idea of what the fuck's going on up on the roof uh, but it looks of like the edges of the hole you can tell that they dug in it wasn't made mm -hmm. That being said, that's a really short amount of time to dig through, you know, roofing tile, wood, just to get into a body. He's not really questioning it. There was an awful lot of them. Yeah. Never underestimate the determination of 30 people with spoons trying to <laughs> cut through a mountain. <laughs> and that is the story of how the dwarves got their cereal. <laughs> lucky hoarding all the lucky charms. The fucking gnome. <laughs> anyway. I... Anyway, yeah. Uh, with all of that settled, I suppose there's no reason to not pull the rest of the daggers out of the ceiling and then get off of Jalen. Yeah. Also, there is nothing fancy about these daggers. They're, they appear to just be simple tanning daggers. Makes sense. They're not and made I'm, out of I, like... I'm a... I'm a bit on the fence about whether we should start killing these rats or not. If they start being nippy, I'd say that we should. We were well, in a wooden building. I would breathe fire, but we're in a wooden building, I think. Yeah. Well, he looks around and points out, they have eaten our dinner. So we yeah. either kill them as our dinner or sort of drugs either way we should deal with the living rats for clarification your dinner is in the common room not in May's room oh, oh okay i thought she brought it up to us she probably did and with Zephyr, the outside yeah. Zephyr closed the door right yep yes all right yeah so we're ankle deep in a bunch of rats and we don't want to open the window because there's more rats falling past the window well i think at this point they've stopped falling past the yeah. window there was just a couple of them you just you know out of the corner of that thump 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 uh from one of my previous fishing exploits i do have a bunch of fish on me i could say we could open the window and toss a bunch of fish snacks out the window kind of to lure them away did you bring tarragon with you 
No, she Terracon's still in uh in Jalen's room. Yeah. Okay. Uh alright, so you didn't do that. I don't want to release like I I on it I realized that to them they were she she was just dead meat, but uh I don't think releasing rats that were eating a human corpse into the city is the best idea, but I don't particularly have a better one, I guess? I don't have anything on me to cause an area of effect on me. The only thing I could do is breathe fire, but inside. Looks to Zephyr. Uh, all I all all I have is a uh, magic missile, witch bolt, and frost fingers. Frost fingers could do it. Does do one do any of us have water skins? Frost fingers. What is frost fingers? Mm, do I? That is a good question. Hold on. That's what that's what he said, right? Yeah, he said frost fingers. Yep. If we douse uh, the rats with water and then have him cast frost fingers, which I'm guessing is kind of like a contact fr freezing, it could have uh, a rapid freezing. like domino effect. Hold on, He's... freezing cold, freezing, freezing cold, bla freezing cold blasts from your fingertips in a 15 foot cone. The cold freezes non magical liquids in the area that aren't being worn or carried. Mm, if does we does it, the... it, it sounds well hold on it sounds like it's just a cold version of burning hands does dousing the rats with water mean that they're wearing the water it's not attended water so no I would imagine they count as being damp So if we make sure that they're well and saturated, and Zephyr uses his frost, uh, frost jazz hands on them, <laughs> we could wipe them oh, all damn out, it. right? Was Probably. It like the... I suppose that is going to depend on spell knowledge. I'm not sure what role that would be. I don't think spellcraft exists in this. Nope. Being said, I mean, based on how the spell's worded, that will that will work. I mean, I would say Jalen has a water skin. Your yeah, yeah, I have a water skin. Yes. I checked. What's sad is in a create water is one of the spells I have in my list. Here, I just we, didn't we got prepare it. it. Well, each creature in that area must make a constitution saving throw. Yeah, it's an attack spell. It's not a I freeze everything in this area spell. That would be weird. Yeah. And that constitution would count towards us because we are in that 15-foot cone. What if we get behind him? Yeah. True. The rats have started to group together into a ball of rats. So, you have fish, I suggest you bait them, make sure they stay in that ball of rats. And then we will ready to douse them with water, and then he can freeze them. All right. good to me. I throw a couple of chunks oh. into the ball, All right. just to keep them distracted. I As you throw these chunks, they them. ravenously begin to rip into both the chunks and themselves. Ooh. Oh. Well, the problem is starting to deal with itself. The uh, rat now, world. Wonderful. In, in time, they're going to form a rat king. Entirely possible. Uh, I've got some water. Ooh, yeah. Anybody else, like, pulls out his water skin. Anybody else have some water before uh, Zephyr executes the plan? Galen pulls up her water skin. All right. Make sure you keep track that your water skins aren't going to be empty. Yeah, yeah. 
to actually update that kind of stuff. I would assume she would have water skin still, but yeah. Well, like, yeah, like, I'd, I'd only just have the basic equipment, plus a long sword and shield. Actually, did I have a shield to begin with? I think I had a shield to begin with. So it's just my basic shit plus a long sword, so that happened to include a water skin, which, yeah, no, he'd definitely have full. Anyway. All right. I suppose on the three, then? Yep. One, two, three, empties water skin on the brat. And she'll do it at the same time as him. On two, I throw another food nibble it into the pack as well. Just to keep them even more like focused on the snacking while they're getting wet. Alright. The rats are now at least all somewhat wet. <laughs> Gets back behind Zephyr. All right. I Uh, I I cast I cast frost fingers holding my ha holding my hand out in, in in the ball's direction, and like and like just a cone of cold blasts out out. Actually, yeah, that's this is a yeah no like this is cone of cold, just a low level version of it, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, this sounds like cold cone of cold. <laughs> Uh, what's kind of your cold blasts from Yeah, I know, no, I know. Yeah, it don't, don't Merrick, it doesn't matter. Merrick. What's your spell save, DC? Yeah. My what? On spell the last... save DC. What it... is the DC of this spell you just cast? It's on the second page. At the top. Oh, uh... Uh, 12. All right. The rats fail, and you freeze together a ball of rats. Not all of them are, like, completely frozen, but they're at least frozen to one another. Ooh. You can see that they're starting to rip each other apart trying to break free. Definite Rat King moment. Well, we can definitely open the door now, but the question is what we do with the ball of frozen rat. Does anybody have a metal container? Uh, I do not, sadly. Probably find one, couldn't we? How big is the ball of rats? Two feet around. Well, I don't think they'll like it, but we could get a pot big enough from the kitchen, I imagine. And you could make that rat soup you wanted. My Would God. it be... But wouldn't I have a sack big enough to, to hold that? I mean, yes, but rats... Oh. Yeah. A sack sure is weaker than wood, which they already chewed their way through in no time to get to the corpse. Mm, true, but have you ever heard of the old saying, put a bunch of oranges into a sack and whack it against the wall? I mean, yeah, that's that's an option. Not one he it's just one he hadn't thought of. Uh, He's not going to stop you from doing that. Yeah, that's... Hmm. The rat ball if begins it, it, it... to pull itself toward you, May. Angrily snapping. I think I start to heel kick it. <laughs> Make a strength check for kicking them. I'm not really kicking it with the tip of my feet. I'm literally jamming the heel of my boot into them. The, yeah, no, that would be a strength check. Strength that, check? That seems appropriate. Um, strength, strength, strength. Scrolling up. Not a saving throw, just a check. Yep. 
What would you have your strength bonus? That's a 14. All right. You kick them with enough force to push them back and break some of them free. Now there's two oh. balls of rats. Can I jam one of them inside of a sack and then just start whacking it against the wall? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he never said you couldn't. Just do that. Yeah. I, I'm going to say that I don't you... know who has this like I don't I don't know who has the sack we were intending to transport the totally not warp stone with. I had but I had two of them. Me. I one think you're the I only person with, with the sack. teeth, and the other one is empty, just in case. I, I'm going to say that you take the first one and you just whack it into the second one until all the yeah. rats are dead. Yeah, and I just keep going. And I'm going to award everybody 150 EXP for the rats and Miranda. Great job, guys. Uh, oh, I don't have an EXP. <laughs> I don't you have an EXP, EXP Yeah, you, you missed out on the 25 we got earlier, so you would just be at level 5 plus 150. We're at level applied once 175. Uh, what is 175? Hold on. Our total should be six six seven five. Opti's total should be Got six it. six five zero. Six five zero. Okay, thank you. Well, Got the it. rat crisis has been averted, and you notice that all the chunks of meat you threw are gone. Yeah, that's to be expected. No, don't worry. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna make more as I just keep slamming the sack into what was originally the second half of it. You now have 30-ish uh, rats smashed. After a moment of that, uh, the hawk puts a hand on her shoulder. They're dead, dear. I give a few kind of haggard sl more slams as like cracks kind of come into my throat then just full on sob and then fall into my knees as you're Dad. sobbing and the room starts to grow quiet you hear the sound of skittering oh my god it's on your bookshelf I mean he just kind of ignores the skittering and <clears throat> hugs her. What are the rest of you doing? Uh, Jalen might try to catch whatever rats are skittering around and just kind of make sure they don't get away. There is one rat on the bookshelf. And it seems to be next to some kind of ceramic egg-looking decoration. Ceramic egg sounds vaguely familiar. Egg. Well, Jalen's just gonna grab, try to grab at that rat. Uh, all right. Or get away. I don't know if I need to do a dex or something. I don't yeah, that know. would be dex. Just a de dex check. All right. Oh, not good. A seven. All right. Well, the good news is that the rat. Also didn't roll great to get away from you. He failed miserably. You managed oh, to grab it. Oh, thank God. Uh, a little bit sloppy. This egg starts to roll off the shelf. Ah! Other hand! Don't even roll Dex another deck. save. <laughs> Twelve. You catch it. Surprisingly, oh. this is a lot heavier than you thought it would be. I'm glad I have 16 strength. <laughs> glad you're using the decks. <laughs> yeah. May, great news. Your pseudo dragon did not get smashed across the floor. That is until you realize that there's a hole in the back of it and the yoke is missing. <laughs> no, no. If you ignored it, that was what was going to happen, but no. Ooh, that was close. But yeah, not it's not a ceramic egg. It's an actual egg. <laughs> Good thing it's not broken. 
Yep. You now have gonna, plump rat. I'm gonna slap that rat up against the wall and one just psh, head first. Strength check. Aha! This I can do! <laughs> well, even it's still, <laughs> only, it's still only a plus three, but. Wow! 23! All that was, right. That was a crit. <laughs> uh, ranged yeah. attack against the wall. What? Oh my god. Uh. What would that be? Is he 20 plus dex or? I don't think you have improvised, so yeah, just that would be a dex. Uh, it's fine. All right, you go to throw it at the wall and it goes through the window. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you should have just smashed it in the wall or crushed it well, in your that, hand. Well, You're but, strong. Well, hold on. That, that, I'm actually confused while I was. The, th the throw was there because I said I was going to hit it up against the wall. Not like wing it, just in my oh, hand. Oh, I thought just, you were going to just chuck it at the wall. No, like have it by its body and just like whap. Oh, okay. Yeah, you smash it against the wall. Might as well be a pancake because it slides down. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Just like <laughs> whip it against the wall. So, like, but, well, see, you say, May, you hear this wonderful crunch and then a slimy sound. So, while this is happening, I go over to my bookcase. I ho I l look at the person you know holding my egg. Jalen. Jalen. Yeah. 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 Um. She, she's like, making. She's, she's holding the egg up, making sure it's not gonna be get damaged because she doesn't know what the hell it is. Like, fr the from the period of the me venting my frustrations and then walking over to you, there's just been constant. Tears streaking down my fa face. I look at you with this like um uh, soft look and with a cracky voice. I ask you if you want to hold on to that for me for a minute. As I reach into my you know bookcase and grab uh another memorabilia from my parents, specifically my mom. A a, a flower case, you know, like um uh, a basin, small enough to hold a flower on it. I bundle up a handful of the mulch that was once Miranda and get the flower that's, you know, on her remains. Pl uh, plot it, plant it, and hold it against my bust and kind of just walk out of the room. Well, hey, I, I like that idea. The inspiration. That's a, that is a, that is precious. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. I award inspiration for that. I like that. I think I've only ever done that twice. Is it raining outside? I think it's raining outside. It's always raining outside. It certainly is raining outside. Roy <laughs> I <laughs> know, I think it actually has been out here, here So you stuff. go out into the I'm hallway sure. I don't know if it, <laughs> it, it, it causes you to pause uh, But yes, your your food is being eaten Tarragon is on your plate eating your elven bread <laughs> He looks up at you I can't help but smile as just fucking tears crease against the dimples in my cheek You only gotta carefully put the egg back <laughs> Considering this was all caused by another rat scurrying around, I look up to see if more of those assholes are coming in through the ceiling. No. Mm. Well, we're going to need to plug that hole at some point, but I guess that's problems for later. He goes to open the door and us. Well, I assume she already left. Was the door yeah. left open, or did she close it after? My hands were full, so the door was left open. Eh, okay, eh, it's left so open. he just goes to leave and head down for his dinner. The dinner is currently in the general area. You know, you, you look over and you see Terragon going in between the plates, grabbing little things. Yeah, mm -hmm. once, once the egg is put down safely, Jalen's gonna just go out. Don't know what to do with this dead rat, by the way. I have it. 
Uh, do you say that aloud? Yeah. I kind of just point over to the, you know, processed, skewered, and, you know, ah. other rat corpse that's next it's, to the uh, fireplace. The same thing there. Got it. Yep. All right, she'll get on that. Then get back to her food, finally. And um, your food um, is waiting. Um, no. I think I'm just going to sit and watch Tarragon enjoy his... I mean, my meal. <laughs> Lumbus. Well, you uh, Tarragon just sits there. He he he, go, he brings it over to your lap. And Aww. just you just hear. <laughs> he puts it in his mouth and looks up at you, bending his head Aww. backward. <laughs> I just give his, you know, side neck floof scratches as he's eating. Rich. He Ooh. spins around and crawls up your front and pushes the bread into your nose. <laughs> Aww. Aww. It's so wholesome. Aww. Tarragon is best boy. Man, I can't wait to see it get replaced. No! <laughs> Never. Don't say no, that. That's kind of the, that's kind of the point. Opti was around for it, but that was the joke here. She's a drow, so she just keeps replacing her animal companion when it inevitably dies. Oh yeah, okay. shorter lifespan. <clears throat> well, no, no, that's the whole not, point of not my... that. Oh, that's the whole point of my character build is to have Tarragon in the front line while I have. The t you know taking advantage of being able to have you know advantage on enemies. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's why I'm a rogue ranger. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I don't. I I, I think we're just eating dinner and then going to bed. Yeah. Sounds like a yep. plan. But I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be going to bed at all tonight. <clears throat> Understandable. Oh, are you gonna break my rule? I'm an elf. I meditate, and meditating means I'm just taking it easy, so I'm probably literally resting literally right now, so I'll be well rested when you guys get up. No, you're not. You're a drow disconnected from your god. You cannot no, do the remembering. That's the other drow. This one is different. You said you didn't believe in the religion. No, that's Iyana. Hmm. She was like literally like stripped away from the whole like elvish iconography. May isn't. Very well. That's still a required eight hours. That part does not change. May just as long as I'm not doing anything taxing. Sitting down, slow breathing, resting. Okay. So yeah, nothing super exponential is going to happen. I'm willing to let you guys do role playing throughout it if you'd like. Or you can just sleep until morning. I think I've done enough to you for the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Debatable. No complaints for the fast forward to morning. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're all on board for that. Yeah, I am. I am as well. All right. Being said, I do have two things to do. First, uh, May. You hear the second dull toll of a bell. Sometime throughout your rest. Not enough to break you from your rest, but enough to, you know, stir you for a second. And Tog, you kind of have a trancic vision in your sleep today. Okay. Yeah, you've come to associate in your religion that your god Tia speaks through light. Hence, one of the reasons why you have a light spell. Outside of, you know, your own choice to take it. 
she speaks to you through light. You have a dream where the light of the sky gets permanently blackened over the city. Mm. Yeah, that's not good. No, it's not. Anything else? Nope. With that, you guys wake up in the morning. You're in the common area. And Leah kind of is the one that comes up and wakes everybody up around the same time. Since there's no door to the common area, she just kind of, you know, walks in. Gives uh -huh. a loud knock on the wall to get everyone stirred. I'm up. Uh, sorry for the intrusion. Didn't realize you were all in the hallway. Literally sitting on the lotus, in full lotus, giving water to my moon lily. <laughs> What moon, though? I mean, I, imag I imagine we all would have gone to sleep in our appropriate rooms, or... Except for May, considering the condition of hers. I thought you all agreed to sleep in the common area. Doesn't matter, really. No, I... Yeah, don't just... see why we would have gone to sleep there, but whatever. Yeah, it's... Yeah, Either the way, scene. She's gonna the scene. Yeah, she's going to wake you guys up. Uh, she's going to inform you this morning that she came up to ask us. She told May, do you guys want to take the prisoner request or do we pass it on to somebody else? Uh, interested in the prisoner as I was there are far more pressing matters here at home so to speak that's fair and I can understand the point of view it was just my job to confirm it uh, and I will note that per town guard order the entirety of the shopping district has been closed today He nods. Oh, I take it you'll be needing the advanced payment back? Yes, unfortunately. If you already spent some of it on equipment, you can keep that bit. He shakes his head and gives back yeah wound up being 50 gold for each player yeah yep okay so he gives back the 50 gold that works there yeah with that uh we'll try to either get you guys a new objective tomorrow or earlier today uh any specific request i know last time it was you know time and money but I give, I, 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 I return, I return my gold. Okay. Just waiting on you then, May. I'm just looking at my flower pot. You know, making sure that's well watered. It is. I think she's wait. I think they're waiting for the fifty gold back, <laughs> the advance payment from the job you guys took. Yep. And it's, it's the then... consensus that everybody wants to not go out, right? Yeah. Like he said, he didn't. Zephyr gave back the payment because he doesn't either. I had assumed you were not at all interested in going back out. To start, yeah, but a part of me is also feeling like I want to get out of this city because there's nothing left for me here anymore. I like, mean... There's a part of me that wants to silently get up, grab my egg, get my, like, traveler's pack ready, and then just leave. 
Yeah, no, I I get that. Either way, uh Man, here I was My thinking ahead. My decision to... isn't changing. So while you're making up your mind, unless you pay her back quick enough, he's just going to hand over fifty more gold. Mm. Fifty gold is a lot, and I don't really want to burden you with that. He doesn't actually care that much, so just give her the 50 gold and you can make up your mind later. You're not going on that quest alone. And he gives Leah the, like, 50 more gold. He gives you guys a nod if you change your mind. You know. He nods. She makes her way out of the room, leaving you guys alone. What is that noise I keep hearing? Yeah, I was wondering about that too. What noise? I think it's coming from Merrick. Yeah, oh. it's coming from Merrick. Uh, the static? Yeah, I thought... Whatever. It doesn't actually matter that much. Oh. Anyway, um... Sorry. Happens. Um, so now the question is, what are we going to do? We don't really have any leads other than knowing that whatever those rat people were, they were very much connected to the rats, presumably the rat plague. We have one lead. Oh. I place the rubber like mask of the rat face on the ground and then with my knife I kind of start scar scarring the floor on either side of it saying that uh, things have been starting to be like th things of coincidence have starting to pile up too recently together in this town that is too like too much to be a coincidence kind of remaking the emblem that those cultists had on the back of their cloak the ones that we passed on the way to that quest that we were trying to do and the ones who were who had actually showed up to finish the tower after finishing that kind of logo, you know, the rat face with the two horns, one going towards the snout and one's going up, I stab the mask's center with my dagger and say that too much is relating to these creatures to be a coincidence. And they... They must know something. Sounds like pretty sound logic to me. That's an awfully bold assumption. I have, I, I have to agree. <clears throat> well, I suppose it gives you something to go do. And, and I know Jalen won't know this from last time, but didn't you guys... It wasn't it also said that the rats seem to be con like congregating or converging on the tower? Or yeah, was it? I was able to ascertain that the migration pattern of the rats in the city were heading towards the center of town, which is the tower. Another location where the cultists were. Yeah. A cultist is a, you know, derogatory term. I'm going to say the clergy instead, because we don't actually know that they're, like, malicious yet without investigating them first. We could also check the, the wine cellar again. I imagine that should be the first thing we do, yeah. Alright, let's finish our breakfast then and head downstairs to check that first then. 
You guys head downstairs. I'm just going to say you get your normal breakfast. It's brought out to you guys. The atmosphere in the dining room today is a little... Oh, excited. Happy. Despite all the negativity going around in town, the rumor in the room is the Great Tower has finally been completed. Yeah, I figured when they said they would finish it in a night, they would, because, oh, hey, bells are a thing. Anyway, um... I already figured we could... <laughs> I already figured we and should there you can hear a Gaia in the guild marm yelling. <laughs> say, even the dog knows that's logistically impossible. <laughs> Fuck you, it's magic. They don't gotta explain shit. Uh no, no, let's let's not think of all the blood sacrifices they no doubt made. Yeah. Uh Alright. So we check the wine cellar after moving the shit out of the way and disarming the trap if it wasn't already triggered. Yeah, I wanna check the trap after the door gets opened. All right. You guys eat, you open the door. Leah's there and watches. You look down the stairs. Uh, the trap has been dismantled. What? It is in neat pieces on the floor. Ah. Considering what happened before, I'm not terribly surprised. I'm gonna collect the pieces of the trap and put them back in my inventory. Then... I point my finger down at the foot of the stairs in the wine cellar and I cast Dancing Lights. <clears throat> Alright, as you cast it, the room starts to fill with a lot soft white light. There, as you walk around, there is no sign of rats. There's nothing hiding in the corners. As the lights dance about the room, you see nothing as the wine, except for the wine cellar described to you as last time, last time you looked around it. Shelves all lined, nothing seems loose. Stack of barrels in the corner. No major holes in and out. Hmm. I'm going to start knocking on the barrels. I was, I was gonna do the same thing. I removed them. Uh, do you move them or do you knock on them? What should we do? Should we knock on them first or just? I was gonna say just move them. Yeah, there's multiple barrels. I'd say I'd knock on one of them while you can move one. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you got about like 12, 13 barrels to move. And as you're moving them, you know they're mostly full of wine. You can feel it sloshing around. They're all 60 plus pounds. No way you could have moved this stuff quickly. Knocking on this all sound firm and heavy. Till you get to the very inner column of them. The inner column is completely hollow. Uh, I look over to the hawk and ask him to get Leia down here. He does. Meanwhile, I'm going to start lighting the sconces that were probably extinguished as were our, you know, you know, previous thing, right? We didn't have a previous permanent light. If any light was here before, it was just because people brought torches down. I know I cast <clears throat> light before this. Leah bought down a lantern last time. And she does again this time. Yeah, are there sconces here? There are three. That I can... I'm going to start lighting them and putting torches in, in them if they don't have them. All right. You get the room all lit up and Leah comes down. Her husband is also in tow. He is upset that you guys are moving around his wine cellar and demands to know why you haven't gone and done his quest. Meanwhile, she, you can see based on the bags under her eyes, she didn't get much sleep last night. <clears throat> Oof. I... She wants to know what you want. 
I inform them, uh, both of them, that the situation from last night is certainly... This should be the priority of your worries as I kind of topple one of the inner barrels. It's an empty barrel, so what? Gaia I pipes up. another one. Okay, it's an empty barrel. Another one more adjacent to the wall. That's the last one. Is there a hole in the wall? There is not. How about the floor? There is not. No visible marks either. I didn't say that. Underneath it, there is a large stone. Unlike the rest of the floor, which is small cobbled. I crouch down towards the stone and run my fingers across it. It's not a stone. It feels like a wooden plate decorated to look like a stone. Enough for me to lift it up, right? Yeah. I do so. You lift it up. And what I can only either describe is one of two things wafts up at you. First, a plague cauldron. And smell. The second, a wet cat that's already rotting. Ugh. Oh. I think all of us should roll constitution saving throws. Yep. Okay, I'm glad I have a five for that. As soon as the smell hits my nose, I put the scarf over my face. 16. And almost hurl. Unless I get a too low of a constitution. When I would ruin this mask. I mean, at this um, point, I've just been wearing the mask by ten. default. It's why I'm using the Bane voice. 18. Also, I, I, was, I was wondering why you're using the Bane voice. I have a, yeah, I thought it would be a funny joke. <laughs> I have a 12 total. You throw oh up. Oh my god. I mean, you add you add your, the, the applicable stat regardless, yes? Yeah. Yeah. It's just I, I, have, I have 11. You throw up. 18. I got a 16. You're fine. What's the number? The number to pass is 15. Okay. I try to yank the mask off first. Alright. Mm, I'm gonna let you just rip it off because I don't want you to ruin your new mask. Thank you. You vomit on the floor and you don't fill your toucan plague doctor mask nose with barf. And Merrick, you throw up on the floor. <laughs> and one yeah, and what... the, the immediate view of the uh, hole you uncovered is a straight drop. And it looks like it's a couple stories down. Knowing a little bit about the city, you know that there really shouldn't be a lot of holes that just go straight down several stories because below the city streets is the city of the dwarves. Oh, so the shitacular smell that we were all exposed to, did that <laughs> smell like the hair I sniffed the other set, the last session actually? Yes. Yeah. Thought so. I, I turn to scowl at the owner, you know, the dwarf man, uh, what was his name, uh, Dwal no, not Dwalin, um, <laughs> Giedwarn or something, uh, Giedron, it's, it's yeah. a fucking weird yeah. name, so none of us know how to pronounce it, Just you, should really pick a, you should really pick a pronunciation. Here, hold on. Look, we can't all be uh, gnomes. <laughs> Geodron. Could also Geodron be Geodron. Geodron. Great, know. you guys dug a stinky hole in my cellar. We didn't dig it. How, when amongst all the things that happened last night, would we have found the time? 
to dig this hole and empty those barrels. When Shrugs. would we have had the time doing our tasks for the guild? Tasks? You have to dig this. You didn't do your task. I, did, I was. I crossed my of your arms days. and tell him that we've been with the guild for a very long time doing odds and ends diligently under your, your like, tutelage. And the one moment that we don't do it, we're all of a sudden like labeled renegades we didn't fucking put this hole here we didn't staple a woman to my fucking ceiling either i will remind you that the woman who was stapled to her ceiling is the only family she has left in this town i know tact isn't something that you, in particular, seem to care about. But please have some. He looks away and makes his way up the stairs. Fuck him. Whatever Dahak saw last night is obviously a very tremendous uh, destructive force that's been plaguing the city for a while now. Leah kind of sits on the bottom of the stairs and contemplates. I think it goes without question that this place has been secure, uh, security wise, been compromised. As much as your husband does not want to admit it, yes, that seems to be the case. Please stack the heavy barrels back on the door. I drop the plank back over the lid. I start helping. Oh, first I grab my uh, water skin to try and wash the taste out. And remember, I haven't refilled it yet. I put my mask back on and then help stacking the full barrels yeah. back over that stuff. Jalen will help out with that as well. I'm I'm sort of I'm still sort of dry dry heaving a little before I finally like calm down and start helping. Do we explore this hole, you think, maybe, Lou? I shake my head. At the some... hole is... Go ahead. The hole is way too deep. Yeah. At some points, we probably should look into it, but I imagine we should wait until all of our other uh, options have run dry. Fair. We could try and commission some other members of the guild to join us in this endeavor, but I'm guessing because of certain circumstances plaguing across the town, their hands are going to be a lot more full than ours are right now. Well, that's actually something I wanted to talk to you guys about this morning, Leah says with her hand on the side of her face. I don't know how exactly, since I'm pretty sure you guys only told me, but there's a rumor floating around the taverns in town. Our guild is full of the crazy people that run around and pretend to be rats. I pull out the mask that has, you know, the dagger hole in it, and look at it. In hindsight, I suppose after rappelling down, we should have just walked back up to your room. I doubt that did any favors from the outside. 
onlooker. Are you meaning to tell me that just us repel uh, climbing back up to the room could have spread more fear mongering and misinformation? There was a rat mask we picked it up between people no doubt seeing that and between whoever it was that spread what happened in the guild hall last night. Yes, it would have been minimal damage control, but... Uh... Also, anybody else distracted by how the model is freaking the fuck out since he's <laughs> feeding the rats? Oh, that's not me. Oh. I was just reaching down to grab some chips. Oh, okay. But yeah, yeah just... even Kelt noticed. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he got that lean. <laughs> but yeah, Leah says that the, a lot of the other officials in town think that that's our doing, though no one else has reported sightings of it. It's kind of the big funny rumor at the moment. And the guild members are levying fingers at you guys. Oh, at us. I wonder why. I mean, we had two pretty big scenes yesterday. Oh, you mean the undead corpse that resurrected in the front gate, and then my f only, you know, family coming down with some I disease when we went to investigate this crap further? Look, I'm, I'm not levying things with you guys. I'm just letting you know. Yes, don't shoot the messenger and all that. I appreciate knowing, and yes, it is... Unsurprising, but no less unfortunate that we have been made something of a pariah. Uh, I have two questions out of character, real quick. Shoot. Are all the barrels back uh, off of the, uh, the, the, the wooden plank that was made to look like a stone? I mean, I thought you just put them all back. I know, but as we're in conversation, I'm wondering if we did put them back or not. Yes. We did. Like, I, I assumed we did that, and then either we're having this conversation while doing that, or after doing that. Right, right. Uh, second question, is wine flammable? Yes. Yes. It's alcohol. Alcohol is flammable. With a big ol' thumping in my chest and, you know, rage kind of growing in the back of my mind, I look at the the floor, you know, like, with a hole, and there's a part of me that feels like I need to do something. So I move the empty barrels out of the way and I, I open the thing back up again. We put the heavy barrels on top of the hole to make sure that they couldn't get in and out again. Yeah. That was the point. I, yep. I'm I'm then going to struggle meekly because I. I'll, I'll help uh, out. With that. All right, all right. Lydia well, asks what you're doing. I don't answer her. I stop, Jalen, until she answers. Oh, okay, sorry. No, no, it's it's fine. I don't fault you for helping a guild member. It's more just. He's not sure what her motives behind this are, especially since we wanted to keep them out. And it looks like she's trying to go back in right after saying we shouldn't do that. Something has to be done is all I tell you. Whatever you're planning to do... No, not this. I... I am not opposed to going down the murder hole and murdering all the rat fucks down there. I am opposed to acting out of grief, anger, whatever this is. 
we I we should be more level headed in our approach of revenge. I am for that. I understand. I understand how you feel, May. I have family living here in here in Kavzar too. If something happened to them, I don't know what I would do. But I but I agree with the hawk. We need a plan. My my gaze kind of turns towards Jalen, and I ask her if she wouldn't mind. Uh, igniting something for me. At the sound uh, of that, Lydia pops her head up. What are you igniting? I, I literally, like, stared daggers at her. Just from last night. She, like, her actions and her, like, innocence has just gotten all the respect that I've had for her gone. Like, She's supposed to be our matron, you know, our marm, the per person that helps take care of us. And then just to so coldly do what she did, just. Uh, I mean, I could, I, I can, I can breathe my fi breathe fire if you need me to. At, the, at, at, at that moment of her being like willing to to help me, I get, I tell her the plan that I have. I'm going to open this lid, and I'm going to. I, I want you to breathe fire on these wine barrels as they descend down the pit. Whatever these creatures are, they're down there. I know it. They wouldn't have attacked the hawk if they hadn't have gotten a clean getaway. And I am tired of these things having one step ahead of us. We are going, but I, I'm going to give them a piece of their own medicine. You... If they want war, this is what they're going to get. Oh shit. You're, you're not suggesting dumping 200 gold barrels of wine. Oh I grab my Down coin purse. I grab my coin purse and throw it at her face. I realize that tensions are high. I also want you to pause and realize that we they used their uh surprise, I suppose is the best way to put it, but we lose that element the moment we make it clear we know where they came in and how. I'm not letting you open that to throw any kind of projectile, flaming or not, down the murder hole. If we want to go and sneak down the murder hole, that's something different. We shouldn't go sneak down the murder hole until we know more about them. For the time being, the best course of action is to leave the heavy full barrels over their fake stone so they cannot physically get in here without destroying the barrels and their easy access point. Which, from the sounds of things... I don't think they're going to do. You saw what they did to her. The way that they burrowed into her through the ceiling, through her back. I and you're saw saying what... that the defense of just putting a couple of barrels on top of a piece of plywood would be enough to deter them from coming up through here. I I saw what rats did to her dead body. The rat people drained her body of blood for some reason. Possibly the message. I would imagine they drained her body so it would take us time to find it because they are cruel. I will also bring up the point that you made. While I 100% believe that they are cowards, it is in fact because they are cowards that they will be deterred 
or at the very least given second thought about re-entering this place once their quick access is gone. That I, I'm not thinking about it. You said if we do anything about this, they will realize that we know where they are. Exactly. If we do anything, anything at all, they will know we know, and they will adjust accordingly. They already know that we know, otherwise they wouldn't have bolted Miranda to the ceiling of my room. Well, we didn't... They, at I the point said, we... oh, they don't know... This is a circular conversation. I realize what you want to do. I am saying no. More importantly, as much as you seem to hate her now, our guild marm says no. If you do this, you are probably going to get kicked out of the guild, and I don't want to see that happen. If if I may real quick, even if we just even if we don't do anything and just block it off, they're gonna know that we know. Even if we don't look Oh down yes, there. that's true. However, when they find that out is going to be in the future as soon as we throw a weapon down their murder hole if That's they're okay, it yes, will only yeah. be a matter of yes if they're down there they will immediately find out if they're not down there they'll find out the next time they go to use the murder hole before they've used it So, May May's face is kind of, like, platonic, but, like, the brow is wrinkled and the cheeks are taut as if she's, like, clenching her teeth as hard as she can while trying to, like, reason herself with that, you know, relatable thought process of not doing what she wants to do out of, like, the grief that she's feeling. There's a part of her that's like literally like, you have decent points. It wouldn't be advantageous for us to, you know, alert them of our awareness to them. Because w we could have this, you know, tactic of uh, both sides don't know where the other side is. It's like, oh man, it's a cat and mouse game. If we do this, it's something else then like old all holds bar is gone you know like everybody is going to be using their full force literal war because that's how nature works if you hit something hard and it survives they're going to hit you back with just as equal if not greater force yes I'm not saying we're not going to retaliate. I'm saying we're not going to retaliate in this knee-jerk fashion. No, uh, May wasn't talking. That was me out of character saying like, oh. that's how she's feeling. Fair enough. Yeah. Like part of the prob like that's part of why I do a voice when I'm talking in character. It makes it more obvious. I try, but it kind of just makes it sound like it's my normal voice. Mm. Wait, no, I, I've got it. You should... Well, actually, no, I guess Minnie Mouse isn't that appropriate here. Oh You're God. not one of the rat people. <laughs> my God. But yeah, no. Um, okay. So since all of that was internal, all that happens while she's gritting her teeth is... The hawk does move closer, and he thinks better of putting a hand on her shoulder and instead just stands between her and the barrels and says, I can see you're conflicted. Here's a deal. Why don't we go check out the tower? You said the rats were flocking towards it anyway. 
that seems like the next best way to get information on them. Failing that, I have no problem with coming back here and investigating the hole. Our only decent leads at this juncture are the tower or following up on the source of that weird green stone. Metal, whatever it is. I think I just lower my head in, like, bereft, like, shame a little bit. Yeah, then putting the heavy barrels back in place over the over the whole cover. The hawk smiles and gives her a hug. Well, while you're all sitting there, having a moment, you hear the heavy crack of thunder outside, and you all hear the deep tolling of a brass bell. Does it sound like the same bell? It very she's much heard does. Twice now, and I've heard once. But now you all hear it. Okay. The hell was that? Something that sounds far too familiar. I heard this last night when we found Miranda's remains. Oh, you heard a bell toll too. I, I thought that him. was just me hearing things. When did I hear the bell toll again? Hmm. I gotta think back. You heard it when you got stabbed in the basement. Okay. Oh yeah. It was like right after that encounter. Yeah, I remember. We... I remembered it was after my encounter with the rats. I, I just couldn't remember when. I remember you saying after we barricaded the door that, that you were also it. having okay. auditory hallucinations now. That's exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, I remember commenting about auditory hallucinations. I couldn't remember when that kicked in. Alright. The bell that tolls was, uh, twice. That was the auditory hallucination I mentioned. Not so much a hallucination anymore, is it? Thrice. Seems so. So, like, unfamiliar with the timekeeping methods is two o'clock morning time. Oh, it's in... still ringing. Oh, okay. It so rings it 13 be chiming... times. It rings 13 times? 13. Okay. And it's not one o'clock. Is it? No. It, it really is not. It's like 8 in the morning. That's what I figured. I think we should go and... outside and see what the hell's up. Well, y yes, yes. Again, I you, you never actually answered my question. So... I don't know how timekeeping works in Warhammer. I assume we're just using the same... Military it's time. AM, so if there were a clock chiming, it would only be chiming eight times. Yep. Okay. Just needed to verify that. You've never uh, heard a bell toll in the city, though. Well, considering the whole tower construction, he's not that worried about the bell toll. But that is good information. Thank you. Uh, at that dahawk nods uh leaves picks up the uh coin purse 
hands it back to May on the way, on their way out. I imagine all four of us are heading towards the tower at this point, yeah? Oh, yeah. Definitely, yeah. And yeah. after the hawk has kind of, like, helped me with my catharsis, I'm kind of just following him. You guys make your way back up into the lobby. Leah continues to sit at the bottom of the stairs. As you make it up, you hear the guild murmur around you. You can oh, assume actually, on yeah, one like... hand they're murmuring about you, but on the other hand, you see a lot of people looking out the window. Right. If Leah's just staying down there, I do pause to ask if she's okay. You don't get an answer. He sighs, pats her back. Doesn't really have any words for her, but gives her a sort of empathetic smile and then thinks of some and says, Maybe you should get some rest. I think a nap would do you good. Still don't get an answer. She's awake, yeah? Yeah. When you put your hand on her, you can feel her trembling. He... He wants to stay and comfort her, but he knows he has more important things to do, so that's where he leaves it. So yeah, you, you guys make your way upstairs. Uh, but there, there's a lot of murmuring going on. Some of them are looking at you, and a lot of them are looking out the window. You can see that the weather has very quickly turned from a decent, you know, light cloud cover day to a complete downpour. And interestingly, as the raindrops hit the window, they seem to be leaving behind a blackish residue that almost looks like ash. What the fuck? That's troubling. Well, what's more worrisome is... I imagine this has to do with the dream my lady sent... Well, he wouldn't say lady. I suppose he would say goddess. I don't know. My goddess sent me. I had interpreted it differently until now, but I think it might be a far more literal thing. He details the dream where there was a cloud of... Or was it a cloud? I remember you said something of darkness around the tower. Uh, the entire... Like, the light behind the mountains... You know, what was supposed to, what you represented as your goddess's light was being blocked out by clouds around the tower. Right, okay. Clouds overtaking the city. At this point, it doesn't even look like it's a day outside. So, so tower? Well, I'm I had wanted to pick out the tower, but with this weird mush rain, I feel like we should look into that before risking exposing ourselves. Uh, I draw my hood and uh, put on my like mask, and the mask like the face coverings that we got yesterday. Mm hmm. What about the ask about that? Face face coverings? Sorry, I don't know if I have that on my sheet. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, we You're three a... got yeah, we three got them because we were before all of this bullshit going to deliver some more oh, so right. from what she Yes. And from what uh May figured out we realized we should take safety precautions. There's no reason your character would have a face covering. Yeah. They would probably have a cloak, though, so... 
Yeah. Yeah, you can probably just oh, yeah, slap the cloak would. around your face if you needed to. Yeah, that's what you'll end up doing. The hawk, seeing what everyone else does, the hawk just sort of frogs and does the same. With the blade safe, you know. I nod at that. Even with my, um, uh, you know, out of body kind of personality, can't argue with being safe. Yep. You guys make your way out into the street? Yeah. You see the people that were out in the street attempting to do business and get on with their lives, fleeing desperately for cover. Not like something, you know, is hurting them. It's just the rain came down so quickly and so harshly that it's literally just battering them out of the, the rain itself. I'm guessing... Uh... What we see when the rain connects to them is like little like paint globules of like gray matting them, right? Uh, no, not quite. It's almost like there is actual volcanic ash in each raindrop. And the vibrant colors of the city are slowly being stained black. A whole desaturation. Wow. When we look towards the tower, can we tell if the clouds are any darker there? They don't appear to be any darker, but uh, you, yeah, in fact, you can't even see the top of the tower because it's so tall. I remember seeing them last night. The clouds around the tower are they are they denser than they were? No. What about expansive, like uh, up overhead? The, the, it's the same type of cloud. It does seem like it's moved further and further out and around the city. I mentioned this detail that last night before Miranda, I looked at the tower and I saw those clouds around it like it was a tornado. But now it looks like it's, uh, it's, a, it's starting to form like this uh, table where the tower itself is like the center leg and it's starting to spread out and flatten to the top with the sky. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like the tower's producing these clouds. Well, given... Well, given the ominous nature of the clergy that finished that, I would not be too surprised. I suggest we make haste. Agreed. You continue toward the tower. Each step, it feels sure. like you're being pelted by 20 to 30 paintballs straight down. Mm. Maybe not the strongest paintball gun in the world, but you know. Just tum -tum 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 -tum. Yeah, yeah. At that point, I raise my shield above my head because it's getting annoying you make it to the outside of the church where you actually find a small group of people a mixture of clergymen and construction workers they're bickering about how to get into the cathedral itself are any of those um uh religious clergymen from the previous day there no mm. a few of them take notice as you guys approach i look at the tower i know that my father worked on the like earlier stages can i roll a history check to see if like the base of it has been changed from what my father did sure all right um uh 16. no it does not i run my hands across to where my you know dad did the work
You think it would fill you with some kind of happiness or hope, but all you feel is the cold of the stone. Each elegantly carved piece resting in its place. One of the clergymen in the group comes over to you guys and says, Look, sorry, we're not doing religious services today. We, no one can get in. You gotta find those weird people that finished building the tower. Yeah, appear to have locked us out. Where? He shrugs. No one's seen them since they went in last night. Is there a door? Just this one front one. Let's, let's take a look at it. You go up to the door. Uh, you grasp hold of its handle. And it kind of fills you with a sickly feeling. And is pushing against it and trying to pull on it. It doesn't move even a little bit. It almost feels like it was cemented in place. As my hand touches the handle, I physically cringe. Like my stomach's turning, holding it. I cast Detect Magic on the door. As you cast Detect Magic, you do feel an ominous and evil presence on it. Though you can't detect the type of magic... You feel the chaotic energy within it swirling around. And hold on, just rereading how it works in this. After exhaling a blech, I let go of the handle. Oh, okay. so re-reading it, yeah, like, is there, so there's an aura of chaos around the door then, or? It, it feels like it goes further than the door, but because the door is larger than 30 feet, you feel that presence around the door. Well, the door is larger than 30 feet, sure. The, the, looking at the words of it, unless the door, like, what's the door made out of? Wood. So unless it's three feet or thicker, I can see through the door. Well, sense through the door. Yeah. And I imagine I would sense more of the chaos magic behind it. Yeah. Yes. What okay. I'm guessing in like the color coded vision of your magic, you'd be able to see the door, but then behind it, it's like a sheet of solid color. Yeah, probably. Hmm. Which would probably also be, like, far more ominous than what I had just felt. I was going to try to kick down the door, but if it's secured, oof. You can try. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Uh, upon seeing this, he does pull out his mace and asks the guy they were just talking to if they mind if we break down the door I couldn't hurt at this point feels like a shame to waste the original round of work on the door but I can't think of another way in uh, I step in front of Dahak and tell him that my dad was one of the original uh, architects here for this tower and on his behalf i give you my blessing oh okay <laughs> oh i don't it's suppose awesome. he shared any knowledge with you on other access points um that's a good question can i roll history or invest uh, insight 
Yes. History. Either either one? Oh, history. Okay. Um. Um. Ah, that's only a. That's only twelve. Only because it's an associated oh. memory. You do remember that on the far side there is a way over the fence that you used to use to go see your mother's grave after hours. As they're both buried together on the property. I sigh, I softly sigh, and I tell him that there's another way and guide him around the other end of the tower. Coming to a small spot in the back, you can find a heavy set tree that goes up just over the fence. Oh. Uh, it's high enough. There's a branch overhanging that's high, low enough for me to jump up and climb onto, right? Yep. You can do it as a kid. You can do it now. I do so then. I'm just going to climb the motherfucking tree. I scoot over and <laughs> give anybody else, you know, aid if they want to jump up and, you know, climb over to the other edge. Did the uh, other clergymen and, I think, guards that were at the front door follow us? No. No? They were busy in conversation about what to do. Welcome. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. So, you come the over... I'm feeling... You yeah. come over this seven foot fence into the uh, back courtyard where the tombstones are to uh, another kind of unwelcoming sight. Uh, so, oh, no. before you get too far into that, uh oh. The hawk, but, well, well, yeah, like, there's going to be bad shit here. It was made very obvious. Anyway, uh,. So, you mentioned guards and clergy and stuff. Uh, I. Which one was the guy we were talking to? The clergy. Okay. In that case, he will definitely go back and alert the clergy to this way in before running back to. He'll probably just be the last person over the fence. Okay. You run back and let him know. And he gives mm -hmm. you a nod. Uh, continuing to talk to some of the people out front, he tells you he'll be around in a little while. Okay. Uh, for those that immediately jump the fence, you enter into the graveyard. And, I mean, although some open graves aren't uncommon in a graveyard, it's a little weird that they've all been hastily dug up. Chewed limbs and bones scattered around the field. Oh, just a scooch, yeah. Not oh, any got, single oh, grave kidding me. was safe. Oh, what was that? There, there's not, not a single, single grave, grave was safe. safe. Wow. All of them Fuck. looked like they were dug up, and whatever remains were in there were chewed through. Just a stellar 48 hours for me. I mean, I guess she did want misery porn going into this, huh? A little. To be fair, you guys weren't supposed to be here for this event. <laughs> yeah. This is what happens when you let the weasel clue us into shit like this. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, you did. No. The weasel, the, weasel. Not found the, the weasel could have not found the fingies. That the wouldn't fingies. be proper. I wrote it as an encounter. The roll of the dice is I how know. it happens. Yeah, I, I know. The, everything in I'm my just... campaign is available at any time, so long as it's there when you pass it. <laughs> I'm just shitting around. Anyway, so, uh, I'm not there yet. Merrick's character has reacted. Reactions from the two of you. Jayla just has her hand on her greatsword, because I'm pretty sure we all have our gear with us. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. What the fuck? Bro, what the hell? We need to get hell? into the tower. <laughs> Kelp played a fucking laugh sound. <laughs> Bro, easy, man. 
<laughs> Who? Yeah, as Tog said, it has not been the. It has been the opposite of the best forty-eight hours for me. You guys haven't even been in the campaign for thirty-six hours. <laughs> yep. Anyway, yeah, all the graves are dug up. Religious figures, priests, family members. None of them are safe. The only thing you can see in the courtyard is the occasional rat. So, I think once my character catches up with the rest of the party, we should probably end the session there. It's almost 10.30, and I'll have to leave at that point. I'll get on my phone, but I won't be able to make any rolls or shit like that. Yeah. We can wrap That's up. Fair. <laughs> All I, I gotta say stretch. is, you are certainly making a villain <laughs> arc backstory for May. Oh, all this misery that oh, she's now being I am. through. Oh, no. <laughs> I like that. Oh, now Man, I am. <laughs> remember when I ran this campaign the first time and you guys went to go collect the prisoner and you had an evening of drinking with other drunks and getting to a drinking contest? Doesn't that fun? <laughs> that was really great. Being able to talk to the prisoner, you know, for a little bit, get his side of the story, try to figure out what's going on with him and why the rats like him and stuff. But then all of a sudden, all of this fucking nightmare. Thank you for the stretch. <laughs> yeah. Like, bruh. Wait, I thought you had a... Yeah, no, did you take away the drink one? Where is it? Uh, I did take yeah, away the... I can't. I can't drink alcohol for this week because I have to have an antibiotic. That's fair. So I took it off where's... so I don't waste the antibiotic. Where's the happy-go-lucky dwarf yeah. man <laughs> who... <laughs> Uh, that we can sponsor to make us tools and stuff. What happened to him? Uh, oh yeah, uh, sorry, um, he became he a doomsayer. <laughs> he kinda died. Wait, that, I thought that guy was a human, not a dwarf. There could be more than one doomsayer. Fair enough. But, but he yeah, said that yeah. he became a doomsayer and got God. There, there's only one doomsayer that's gotten got that we know of, at least. That you know of. Mmm, fingies. <laughs> yep. Fingy man <laughs> turning into <laughs> undead rat man. You know, at this point, I'm just kind of waiting for the city to be done with so you guys can go off and enjoy a normal adventure. <laughs> I do feel I mean, like we're... you're rapid-firing this, honestly. I'm not. Well, like, that's the, that's the problem. Like, w thanks to... Tarragon finding the human fingers, no, it's no, led no, no, to no, no. all of this other shit. The only stuff that would have happened were we not here. Like, I imagine oh. they had already infiltrated the wine cellar, but Miranda would still be alive. A bunch of other shit wouldn't have happened. It, it's just a so, cause so, of effect bunch of dominoes. So, where the... so it's like the whole theory about how the assassination of Archduke Ferdinand was the direct result of gay hentai porn. <laughs> 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 I 